Hi everyone, in this video, we'll be doing a mass deployment uh, of Chronozilla Restore on two virtual machines in this demonstration. So, image restore VM1 and VM2 are created for our massive deployment uh, demonstration. So, we are going to have Chronozilla uh, boot from the Chronozilla USB at Ubuntu 64 bit systems which is the virtual machine as well and our NFS server and DHCP server is this ZOS V1 so we will need to boot into our Consila USB from this VM we need to wait for a while to make sure that in order for us to boot into the USB we will need to ensure that the following settings is set on the VMX file of our virtual machines, you need to go to the respective directory you need to make sure that firmware EFI and boot delay has been set so another thing you want to watch out is that uh, this test is done uh, in a host only network which is a local area network to ensure that you do you all your NICs uh, you only need to have one NIC connected to the local area network please make sure that you don't have another NIC connect to another network which may cause deployment issues so we will choose a uh, Consila Live which is the default you can also choose uh, to install it uh, into the RAM which is not necessary in this case as I will be using NFS server to do my image restore as my image is already inside my NFS uh, I don't have intention to use the USB as a storage drive uh, for my image before we continue I just want to share that uh, in this case for my uh, NFS server the IP addresses is 10.10.10.2 in this case and the directory of my share is uh, for the image is slash home slash file share 01 um, this send OS is also installed with uh, DHCP server and it has the IP address of 10.10.10.2 as well so we will choose English keep the default keyboard layout start Kronzilla we would going to in this case we will choose a uh, light server enter Consila live light server mode so start Consila live light server so choose network boot we are going to auto detect as we already have a DHCP server so in this case right uh, there's actually two uh, need uh, so which one we are going to choose this is not difficult we could go to settings of our Ubuntu so this is my host only local area network I could check the IP addresses 11 CB the last uh, two digit 11 dot CB which is over here We are going to choose yes. So next, we will choose NFS as my image is inside the NFS server. So it will be NFS B4. So the IP address here is 10.10.10.2. The image uh, share directory, which is home slash file share zero one. So you can see that it has already detected the NFS and already mount as well. So I press enter. So I'll leave this to default beginner mode. So I'm going to do massive deployment in this case. So I will choose a multicast. So I'll choose the first option. So uh, the installation will be restoration from the image itself. So I'll choose the first option. So it will be restore this. 
so the image inside the NFS is already detected so I will choose select so there's actually uh, for this image there's actually two uh, file systems I'm going to select both of them for the restoration so the partition will be use the default option which is from the image so uh, this is whether you want to check the image before restoration in this case for this demo I'll not be doing any image check so the action to perform when client finish cloning I'll just choose the first option so in this case it's a multicast restore so I'll choose the first option so uh, choose the method for multicast clone I'll choose the first option which is client plus time plus to wait I need to set the number of clients in this case as well so I only have two virtual image uh, virtual uh, machines to be installed with the image restoration so I'll choose two so uh, in this case right next time to wait I'm going to set to 1000 instead to ensure my deployment is okay so I'll choose enter type enter so I'm going to make sure I'm going to boot my virtual machines so do all clients finish restoration job the answer is probably a no so I won't be uh, giving an answer I'll just leave it as of now so as you can see the clients have already uh, put into the Ubuntu uh, uh, server and the image restoration will proceed very soon you can check the status from here as well this is the IP address uh, given by the DHCP server note that my DHCP server IP range is in the 10.10.10 .10 .10 network 0 network so if you have other uh, IP addresses appear probably you have also created another NIC connect to another network this may impact uh, the deployment uh, restoration of the image so we want to make sure that uh, we only have one NIC connect to the host only local area network now the restoration has begun we check the other machine so the cloning is beginning the restoration sorry
it seems that our image has uh, successfully been deployed on the two systems so on the so called Granzilla uh, host itself we will just say yes as the cloning is done all the clients have already finished the restoration so we will power it off so now let us uh, move to our one of our hosts so uh, after the image deployment uh, we may want to uh, so called uh, set our host name so as uh, all our machines are being set with the same host name we will want to manually log in and do the setting so this is the current host name so I want to change it to uh, Ubuntu OS v2 so Name CTL set host name. So my host name will be Ubuntu OS V2. Let me check. So now the whole thing has changed. Uh, the deployment probably has come to an end. So I'm going to want to check the file system here to ensure everything, the deployment is fully completed. So uh, as I have checked, all the file systems are there, including the second uh, file system SD8B. Yeah. So I'll perform a shutdown. Now thank you everyone for all the attention. Have a nice day.